Hi guys, welcome to W3 Schools channel and today we're going to talk about XML DOM. Okay, XML DOM is a document object model and let's discuss very quickly what it is and how we use it. My name is Dr. Shan and if you're here for the first time, want to learn XML and other coding, don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin with XML DOM. So what is DOM? Well, DOM is basically a document object model. It defines a standard for accessing and manipulating documents. According to W3 Consortium, which we call the W3C, document object model is a platform and a language neutral interface that allows programs and scripts to dynamically access and update the content, structure, and a style of a document. Okay, so the HTML DOM defines a standard way of accessing and manipulating HTML documents. It presents an HTML document as a tree structure. Meaning that using this HTML DOM, every component within our HTML is considered as an object and we can access it and use it like an object. So using, for example, a content inside the body, it behaves like an object. And when we have an object, using an object, we can access the methods and properties of an object. So it becomes much easier to manipulate and work with that particular component when you consider this as an object. And when we talk about HTML DOM, it means that all the components inside the HTML considered as a DOM. Even the browser window becomes a part of a DOM model. The XML DOM specifically defines a standard way of accessing and manipulating XML documents. It presents an XML document as a tree structure. So when you talk about XML DOM, it differs from HTML because now XML document specifically talk, talks about the XML document and it allows us to access and manipulate all the, the, the tags inside an XML document as a tree structure using a simple object based structure. Okay, so it differs from HTML because HTML DOM considers its uh, tags as an object and it uses that. However, in XML, it considers its tags as a tree structure and allows us to access and manipulate those tags. How we use them? Let's talk about. So a standard DOM must, uh, so a standard DOM is a must for anyone working with an HTML or XML. So you must be under need to understand how this is working and how we basically use it. Now, the HTML DOM, all HTML elements can be accessed through the HTML DOM. Keep that in mind. All HTML elements can be accessed through the HTML DOM. This example, for example, changes the value of an HTML element with an ID demo. So if you use this uh, or if you have used any JavaScript before, uh, basically this is exactly what we do. We can create an HTML, give it an ID called demo. This means that now this HTML tag has an ID that is called demo. Then we create a button. Okay, and then on that button we provide on click and basically we need to use a JavaScript code, which is this one. Okay, so using JavaScript, we can access the HTML component. So this JavaScript says that, hey, this is a document. Now this actually document is an object. So this document is considered as an object of our HTML. This document contains access to all HTML tags. In other words, it refers to the entire HTML document or tags that we have created. So it's saying that, hey, I have a document which is an HTML document. Inside this HTML, go get me an element by ID. So there is an element called H1. Find me that element that has an ID called demo. So this will go and refer to this particular component. Then dot inner HTML means that the inner HTML, this inside HTML of this content. So basically we are saying inside the document, there's an element called demo. The inner element of that HTML of that element, get that element. And now using equals to, we can change it to hello world. So when I click on this button, it will change the content here. As simple as that. Then if you go into XML document, the XML DOM basically allows us to access the elements of an XML. So if you have a standard XML like this one, where we create an XML standard metadata, a bookstore, ending a bookstore tag, then we have a book one and we have a book two. So this is a two books available. Inside each book, we have a category attribute to the book. Then we have title, author, year, and price. If you want to learn more about the HTML document and how this is created, one of the learn basics, again, I've already created a detailed video on that. The link is in the description. Do check that out. It will explain how the HTML is working. So the code that retrieves the text value of the first title element in an XML document is known as this one. So for example, we create a variable called text and then we use XML document dot get element by tag name. Now see, previously in HTML, we use something called uh, get element by ID. So in HTML, we had a get element by ID this one. Whereas in XML, we have something called get element by tag name. Okay, so this one is basically what we are referring. Then we say, get me the tag called title. Okay, so it finds this title tag here, this one here. Okay, so this title tag will be found. Now this zero rep represents the zero index. So find me a title that is on zero index, which basically starts from this one. 
So this zero index title will be actually referred here. So the next will be referred as one. Okay. So as an uh, standard array, every element inside our XML also is represented with index numbers. So for example, it's a repetitive. So book, book, these are two categories of XML. This will be on zero index. This will be on one index. So here we are referring to zero index elements dot child node on zero index. So again, the child node of that title, if there is any, go for that dot node value dot node value means inside this node the value will be every italian so this will be the node value that we are actually referring to so it's saying that hey i have xml document which is this one instead of document we are now using xml doc get element by tag name so instead of using get element by id we are now using something called get element by tag name we are referring to the, the tag name itself rather than creating an id so it's almost same as uh, the html dom we just a little bit differ with respect to these uh, index numbers so here we are referring to zero as an index number and we're saying this zero on this zero index uh, find a child node with again on the zero index dot node value so it's to find the node value in html we use dot inner html here we are referring to its value so this is how basically we access the elements within our xml so the xml dom is a standard for how to get change add and delete the xml elements okay so this example loads a text string into an xml dom object and extracts the info from it with javascript how do we do that let's explore the code to understand it in more much more detail so now you can see we have a standard html and we create an html a tag with an id called demo then create a javascript code we say variable parser and xml doc so this xml doc automatically has the xml variable information when we provide it here and then we say text so we create an xml document text here now we say dom parser so we create a object of dom parser Okay. So this DOM parser will allow us to understand how this DOM parser is working. If you want to learn more about this DOM parser, you can come here uh, to my previous lecture. I just uploaded last lecture that's talking more about this DOM parser class. So you can find out the link is again in the description. I've already uploaded that the last lecture before this would be on DOM parser. So I've talked about a little bit that this allows us to parse the DOM, uh, the pass the XML documents. Okay. So once you understand that, ah, okay, this is parsing my document so in order to pass this xml code we use something called dom parser then we use this parser variable that we just got from here so this variable is using and then we're using a method called for parse from string text in an xml format so we're saying hey parse in form of a string this variable here so this is going to read and convert this entire into a parser form of string okay in other words a string form so that it can easily be passed then we pass that entire information back to this xml document object Okay, so now now we're gonna say, hey, document dot get element by id demo in our HTML. Now go inside this XML document, get me an element tag by a tag that is in title form with uh, on a zero index node. Find its zero index child node and then find its value. So it's gonna change this value here on this demo node. Okay, so this is again a simple text. Basically, we can say this is initially a text. So we are converting a text into XML using this function here. Okay, so this text is basically being converted into a XML form. This text is because this is a standard text created in JavaScript. JavaScript will consider this as a standard script, uh, standard text to tell our XML that, hey, this is a XML document or XML tags, not just an ordinary uh, text. We need to parse this into an XML form. So that's why we have created a DOM parser. We have used parse from string means this is a string parse it and convert it into what we call an xml document then we use this xml variable here to find a tag that we want to read based on the index we have and then we retrieve its node value so it's going to print everyday italian which is this everyday italian variable node here okay so this is how basically it simply tends to work Okay, so I hope you understand now what XML DOM actually is and how we use XML DOM. It's quite easy, quite simple. We use the DOM, uh, parser to convert our string into a text form. And then we use this get element by ID or in other words, use this XML doc object to pass through each tag within our XML and then use retrieve its data and process it. And you similarly, we can change it, update it, modify it. Okay, so... If you want to learn more about XML and want to learn more about these whole technologies, I will be creating a detailed lecture on XML DOM. Uh, this whole topics will be covered with much more detail in an example as a whole complete tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you are posted and updated regularly. This is Dr. Shan signing off.